Hey guys, Nomus RC. It's been a minute since I've put a video out. Uh, I got a X Max, <clears throat> and uh, it actually came with two Traxxas ID 6700 milliamp batteries for us. Um, and they have this completely stupid connector on them that has three balance leads and then it uses the positive and negative and you really don't need a balance lead which I guess is kind of smart uh, for those two connections you don't need a balance lead so okay great but it's proprietary so that does me absolutely nothing I would absolutely never use a Traxxas charger and obviously we need to be able to balance our lipos so as you can see here it's got a positive and negative and then it's got three balance leads. Okay? We cut that off. Then we cut open the battery itself. And I will say their packaging is actually pretty decent. Uh, nice thick cellophane, and then they do put aluminum on top and bottom. And then they do use actually a really, really thick, probably feels like about a I don't know, I'd almost say like a 2 mil plastic right there. Maybe even thicker than that. And then up top, you would want to just cut these two loose right here. And then you would strip these back and pull them back behind here. And they actually do have some really nice foam right here. Now, the ridiculousness in here um, does not, it, it doesn't end with just this connector. So instead of them just having, uh, instead of them just having metal pads that go from one cell to the next, they actually have these circuit boards, little PCB boards. But again, all that it's doing is just giving you two solder points. So. Let's get these back out here. So these three right here are the three that were already in there. Okay? And then I added this one and this one. And then you just want to wire them up in order. All that I had was a uh, 5S balance connector. So I just chopped the positive off. So you want to, in order for this to work with any balanced charger, um, you always want to get rid of the, the ones on the positive side, whether it's one, two, three, four, however many that you want to cut uh, and make this connector work with a smaller battery. Um, Cause we have a four cell here and this again was for a five cell. So I cut off the pot, the outermost positive one. And then as you can see here, you can just trace the wires. So the very first one, or the negative side goes to the negative and that's one that I added right that wasn't there already and then you have this one the second one is going to go to the very next connection and the battery okay so that's the second one the third one is going to go to the middle connection right here which is this red one and then the fourth one is going to go to this last connection back here. It's also a red wire. And then the fifth one I added, and it goes directly to the main positive. And that's it. That's how you wire it up. And as you can see, we have a fully functioning battery. Now, some of the reason that I wound up having to do this is because I ran the batteries dead, as you can see. Which is not great for them, but it'll be alright. And, uh... I needed a way to charge them, and I did not have a way to charge them, so it took me about 24 hours of waiting before I could get time to do this. But now it's going to work with any charger. Just going to throw an XT90 on it, and then put some current into it. Alright, got the battery all sealed up. Cellophane back on, a little bit extra tape just to make sure that everything's held together correctly. And then, beautiful. 
no more stupid Traxxas ID battery. Now we have an XT90 and a balance lead. And again, this one was actually from a 5S. You can make them work. You just have to... Uh, whatever wires that you don't use need to be on the positive side. So I only needed one wire to be absent. So, And then you start with the negative connection and then go across the connections. Get this thing back to storage voltage. Okay, we got the battery hooked up. Big old monster tracks is 6700 milliamp. Plugged in the XT90, plugged in the 5S balance lead, but again, there's one that we're not using. And uh, <clears throat> now we can see here, if we can get this thing to focus up here. So we're putting it at 10 amps. And uh, my voltages are finally coming back up. So, I know I didn't ruin the pack. I mean, it is what it is. They came with the X-Max. I ran them for a day. I hit low voltage, and then I had no way to charge them. So, now I have a way. All right, guys. As always, subscribe, comment below. Uh, thank me for saving your ass and making Traxxas batteries not garbage anymore. Have a good one.